He's never overhauled Posta and Dimas. <laughs> Technique rather than strength. Yeah, I saw him in the training hall earlier this week and he was doing exactly the same with 160 kilos. He was just not quite pulling it into the right position, not looking good overhead. And so uh, now Schumach for the Ukraine. Schumach, who's been competing at 91 kilos in uh, the last couple of seasons, and since Atlanta, he's been at 96 kilo, 91 kilos. So he's coming down now to 85. And he was third in Europe last year. And actually won the clean and jerk gold in that competition. Well, what is going on out there? The weight just looks too heavy. It's not as if they're losing it through, through technical problems. It just looks as if they've selected weights that are too heavy for them. I mean, that was nowhere near. Well, I remind you that the man who leads the B group, Mariusz Rutowski, who snatched 162 and a half, went 155, 160, 162.5, at the moment leads the competition. Turkish choir. <laughs> So Dursad, just half a minute on the clock, and Sevinch needs this. He lifted 167 and a half in the European Snatch last year, and in the Worlds in December, it took 170 to get the silver. So this is... Uh, convinced the strength was there yes he's just he's just going under the bar a little bit too soon he really needs to hang on in that first phase of the movement if he's going to lift any more just pulled stands and has to take board but he's on the board now Schumach who's got to do exactly the same thing Schumach was uh, in the 91 kilo class in the Olympics, finished uh, seventh there in Atlanta. Actually snatched 167 and a half. And he now becomes the third man in this competition in the snatch phase who's got to make a third pressure lift. And if you were with us, you remember that Ivanov of Bulgaria. Well, he was all right, but the Azerbaijani was not. Oh, sorry, uh, no, even off, missed all three attempts. Missed all three. And uh, the man from Belarus, of course, missed all three as well. But the Gortikov of Azerbaijan got it. So Schumach, he's really got to, to be positive now. Uh, this is a bit of a surprise. Coming down from weight, could this be a problem? Well, one would suggest that um, the new weight class being 85 instead of 83 was, was just about right for him to be able to manage to get his weight down, whereas 83 was probably too much to come down. He was, he was obviously lifting as a, as a light 91 kilo lifter, so this seemingly would have been a more sensible class for him, but uh, he's not looking too clever today. Well, he could have stayed and gone up to 94. <laughs> but having said that, he did, well to, he did well to lift that, real pressure lift. Just managed to get everything right, which is what he needed. And he's kept himself in the competition overall. Seems to have, he's struggling with his back, but uh, really finishes that off. Deep squat, manages to hold. interested to see what happens on this 162.5 because I've been watching this man also in the training hall all week well, and he's been struggling on 160. This is Mark Hooster but first it's Georgi Gardev and that's the man you were referring to 162 and a half kilos 
21 years of age. Second in the world at 76 kilos. So he's really gone up here. And he was fourth at 76 kilos in the Europeans. Now he snatched 167 and a half in December in Thailand. Oh. Better than he's been looking in the training hall. Apart from the, having some problems with his lower back, other than that, he's feeling good and he's in good form. As that snatch would suggest. So, uh, Gardef, who's got a best in competition of 167.5, which is what he achieved in December. But of course, that was in the, the lower weight division, so one would expect him to be slightly stronger at this new heavier weight. But this is the local man, Mark Hooster. Mark Hooster asking for peace and quiet. Let him concentrate. He's coming up for 165. This man who puts in 20 sessions a week, has lifted for 16 years, has won the world championship. But he's never really overcome Dimas when it matters most. But of course, this lift will put him immediately into the lead. Two and a half more than the Polish pole did earlier in the day. <laughs> oh. oh, yes. And the noise is absolutely. And now comes the showmanship. <laughs> That was quite conservative. There's more to come. That was a very confident opening attempt. Really gets a good extension in that second phase. Very good technician. And he's going to be mighty relieved he's got this in because although he's a very, very super athlete, he's conscious of the fact that the whole of Riza, the 42,000 people, and they really have been smashing the way they've come out and support, they are all expecting him to do well. And whatever he knows that there's a bit of pressure on him here to produce the goods. And now his great rival. Now, one of the important things here in this competition is the weight. Demas has weighed in at 84.10 kilos. Hooster has done exactly the same weight. No, Hooster's actually weighed in just lighter, slightly lighter, which is what you, which is what you would have expected him to do, actually. Although on your sheet it looks as if they weighed in the same. Exactly. Having said that, though, Hooster was first in the draw, so should... Even, he, if, they, even yeah, if he hasn't... Even if he does, yeah. They, they, he's... Let, let me briefly explain what we're saying is, if they did end up on the same weight, Hooster would still have the advantage because he was first in the draw. Yeah. Dimas, 167 and a half, two and a half kilos more. <laughs> The Olympic champion for the past two years, or the past two games, in Barcelona and Atlanta. At 83 kilos, as it was then. Well, Doesn't he, get it over no, his head. He's, he's really looking to be struggling. He snatched 160 in the EU championships. Just a mention uh, of Britain's Stephen Ward, who was in action, member of the Peterborough Weightlifting Club. And uh, Stephen Ward, series of snatches, 130, 135 and 140, followed by a clean and jerk of 170. Didn't manage to get two later jerks of 175 and totaled out at 310. So that was uh, Stephen Ward for Great Britain earlier in the day. So Piros Dimas didn't compete in the World Championships. None of the Greek in December in Thailand. World champion in 1995, though, in China. He's got a personal best of 180 on the snatch, lifting in the 83 kilo class. So, in theory, this should be well, well within his capabilities. But of course, it's all about being on form on the day. And the uh, look around. <laughs> oh, how we've missed that. 
How we've missed the cheeky look around. <laughs> well, that's the lead. Puts the pressure back onto Hooster. But uh, Dimas has given away one of his three lives. And uh, still Sevinch in this competition after an early hiccup. Yeah, Sevinch is really going to have to pull this one out. I mean, this is a this is a heavy weight for him. I mean, look to his. 160. He didn't really finish the second phase of the pull. And he's not going to overtake uh, Dimas, or indeed Hooster, because he's uh, the heavier Matt. Well, he is going to overtake Hooster at the moment, you but he's not going to overtake go. Dimas because he is heavier at uh, 84 point... Uh, well, I've got him at 8-0. You've got him at 7-5, uh, Dushan. Seven. Oh, oh. oh, look at that. That was good. That was good to, to come back and just get everything right there. Well, it's not a personal best because he has snatched 170, but I'm afraid that first failure really left him without the possibility to go to 170. Well, he did. He took a seven and a half. Most people would take a five kilo jump, so he failed his first at 60, then got it, and then instead of taking a five, he took a seven and a half. So perhaps 167 was his planned attempt, a third attempt anyway. So Georgie Gardef now. Gardef for his second lift at 170. Now, according to what I've got here, this would be a personal best. Last year in the Worlds, he snatched 167 and a half. And uh, in winning the snatch gold, he actually hurt his knee. Not seriously. Well, I must say, this man really can pull it out when it counts. Struggling with 160 in the training hall. But uh, that was unteamed, and still one lift to come. Extraordinary performance. So this is a critical lift now for Mark Hooster with 170 because, of course, it will give him the lead on lighter body weight and put the pressure back on all the other competitors. Yes, guard effort, 80.4.15 kilos. Frank Mantek of Germany, the mastermind of German weightlifting. You can hear a pin drop in the hall. Oh, oh. There it is, the lead. The lead for Mark Huster of Germany. Putting the pressure back onto Dimas. And of course, the Bulgarian, Gardev. So this is developing into a really good competition. Slow start, but now we've got to the main course. It's uh, a very tasty one indeed. <laughs> well, that's what they paid their money for. They've paid him to see him lift the weight, but they've also paid for a little bit of theatre as well, and he's not disappointing them at the moment. Yeah, that was a good, that was a good snatch. Does everything right. Very consistent lifter, Hooster. And that's the situation at the moment. Hooster in the lead by virtue of the lighter body weight. You can see there he's 100 grams lighter than Gardev. Dimas, 167 and a half. And uh, he's uh, got some lifting to do because he's heavier. That's now confirmed for you. He's heavier than Hooster. Well, it looks, it looks as if Dimas is coming in at 170 for his final attempt. So even if he's successful with this no. lift... No. Ah, uh, yes. 172. Yeah, so Dimas taking the weight needed for the gold medal at this at this time. And what he's banking on here is that he can do this and Hooster, Hooster can't. And, of course, the, the Bulgarian. Indeed. Although the Bulgarian is, is heavier, so the Bulgarian would need to take 175 should Dimas be successful. But I think Dimas has really got to uh, pull out all the stops on this yeah. lift because that 167.5 wasn't easy. It's fascinating, isn't it? I mean, this could go any one of three any ways. Any one of three ways. Which is exactly what we've come here for. 
Yes, this is the kind of thing that keeps the home crowd on the on the edge of their seat. Hope you're enjoying this at home. Terrific stuff. Now we really want Demas to make this. <laughs> oh, oh yes, she does. And I don't think he can believe it. <laughs> uh, well, he is Olympic champion. Double Olympic. And of course, the pressure now back on Hooster. And I've got to say, the reason he's hugging and kissing is because. That has gone far better than anything else he's been doing in the gym. Yes, I mean, he hasn't, he hasn't looked good. There's been rumours of a, of a back injury. Now, this is interesting. If Gardef goes at 172.5, where's Hooster going? Maybe 175, but he doesn't need 175. Hooster's the lighter man. He only needs 170, 172.5. Uh, well, having said that, Hooster's snatch on 170 was strong, but it doesn't really make... Doesn't make real sense for him to take 100 and. Gardef is heavier, so he clearly thinks that 185 is beyond him. Although Gardev weighed in heavier, so perhaps he'll have to take this before Hooster, which is good from Hooster's viewpoint, because Hooster will know whether he needs to take this for the gold medal or 175. Yeah, Mantek's got it right in terms of the tactics. <laughs> well, look at that. Oh, well, what a competition this is developing <laughs> into. <laughs> So Hooster now has to take this weight to win. Well, does he? I don't think he has, because Hooster has to, yeah, he has to take, he has to take this weight to win, by virtue of lighter body weight. Indeed. He does not have to go to 175. That's the point. So this competition all being decided, in the snatch phase anyway, on the last attempt. So let's be clear on this. Dimas is in the lead, 84.10. The Bulgarian's in the silver. Hooster's in the bronze medal position at the moment, but this the last snatch of the competition, and it's for the gold medal. I can take him right up there. They're Come on, Mark. This is this is for the gold medal. They're in standing front of his up home in the crowd. hall. They're standing up there. Well, what a way to win a gold medal in front of your home crowd on the last lift. He's going to give this everything. He's lifted this weight before, but history is irrelevant. This is it for the gold medal. <laughs> Hold it, and there it is, the gold medal for Germany. And now we're gonna see some acrobatics. Now we're gonna see some. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, look at that, look at that. <laughs> Number one, <laughs> number one, he says. But we're only halfway. Well, There's if anybody still... deserved a gold medal, it's Mark Hooster in front of his home crowd. What a fantastic competition that was. Uh, Dimas uh, back in the hall, settles for silver. Gardef gets the bronze, but only half the job's done. He'll be really happy he's done this, but remember, what he's really come for is to be over European champion. It's only the anthem for the champion that's played, not for the individual medalists in the two separate disciplines. Mark Hooster with a brilliant series there, taking the gold medal and getting ahead of his rival, Dimas. But the other thing to remember is all three of them are on 172 and a half. So it really is a great fight. As we come but of course, Hooster's the lighter man, so the other two... We'll just have a quick look at the... Hooster. Scoreboard. The scoreboard shows that three men on 172 and a half, body weight deciding it, 50 grams lighter than Dimas, Hooster takes the gold, and uh, Georgie Gardev takes the bronze medal. We're going to take a short break, and then when we come back, it'll be time for the clean and jerk. Mantek and Hooster relaxing. Stay with us here on Eurosport. Equal on weight at the snatch. Looks as if he's just uh, beginning to uh, get ready. He's got some moments yet, though. The long walk from the back room, over half a minute to get to the stage. And this is Oleg Kubachev for Belarus, third and final attempt. Yes, although we've got three competitors, they had to start at 200 kilos on the clean and jerk. Because of the, the draw, Hooster 
is the man that we're more likely to see first unless the other two decide to take more than 200. No. This man's heart's really not in the competition. Three failures on a snatch. Foul with his first on 190. Just managed to get it in and... Uh, one feels that he's not really... Well, he's going to go tumbling down the order. And it'll not be an entry in his personal record book. Now, hang on. This is a change here. Hooster, you said... Oh, he's going up. Well, Hooster decided to take 202.5. Well, Mantek, his head coach, is a level-headed level -headed chap. If they think it's right, then it probably is. Because uh, Mantek will make sure that any chance of emotion because of the occasion is ruled out. He will not let Hooster do anything stupid. So, Dimas is coming out on 200. And Dimas. Hooster really, really deciding to put the pressure on with 202. Double Olympic champion. He won the world title in 95 in Guangzhou in Thailand. And they're saying stop the clock. Now, what's going on here? Are they going up or what are they doing? 15 seconds. And it looks as if Dimas is going to take this. I think the officials are saying you can't stop this. It's five seconds. Well, I mean, that's a rotten piece of organisation by the coaches. What he's got there. Yeah, well, that was a pretty convincing start from, from Dimas. But uh, there was a, quite a deal of confusion, David, in the corner there about what was going on. And in the end, I mean, to be left with five seconds, which was totally unnecessary, it was shall I lift, shall I not lift. Got that very different style, hasn't he? Yes, he uses a technique called the power jerk, where you, you split the legs to the side, as, a, as a opposed to one leg going forward, going back. Now, Dusan Sevinch. Yes, this man is certainly capable of 205, so 200, he should be easily able to get there, but he's got to go beyond. Oh, that was uh, sweet. Yes, that's good. And Turkey have got their man in. So we've got Germany, Turkey, Greece and Bulgaria. And of course, that lift puts him in front of the Bulgarian. Indeed, overall at the moment, it's uh, Dimas with 372.5, Dorsan Seventh with got a total of 367, uh, but he is five kilos behind and he's heavier than Dimas. But he has got, as you saw, he said, he has got ahead of the Bulgarian Gardev, who's two and a half kilos behind him. But the here Bulgarians comes the got one lift left, but here's Mark Houston. 202 and a half kilos on the bar. A huge, a man take the coach to our left, just below our commentary position, yelling at the audience for quiet. So this to put the pressure. Mm. Dimas. No problem with the clean. Yes, that's going to be OK. That is going to be OK. Yes, the lift means that Dimas now has to take 205 kilos. Really does this well, doesn't he? Keeps the drive going, it never stops. And he doesn't hold it on the shoulders too long before he splits and chucks it over his head. Very confident opening attempt. So, situation at the moment. Mark Hooster with a total of 375, two and a half ahead of Dimas. As you rightly said, he's the lighter man, so that's worth almost five kilos. And Dursan Seven, who's the heavier, there it is on your screen. The 
third place man in that's in the clean and jerk and uh, it's exactly the same positions at the moment in the overall now Gardef is now going to 202 and a half for his third and final lift yes of course this will put him into the silver no this will put him into the gold silver medal position by virtue of heavier body weight but a 10 kilo mm, it's a big jump you don't see this too often well he's cleaned it well now well it was a good effort he really gave it everything i think he knew that he had to do something extravagant to get rid of the likes of seven but I'm afraid his overall ambitions now are disappearing, or they have disappeared, because he's down in fourth place. That would have kept him in the medal race overall, but as it is, he's now in fourth, and he's probably only going to get the bronze from the snatch that he achieved half an hour ago. Certainly only going to get the bronze. 205 kilograms now on the mark. Total situation, Hooster two and a half ahead of Dimas, who in turn is five ahead of Sevinch, and they're in order in terms of body weight. Lightest, next and heaviest. And all lifters have two attempts remaining on the clean and jerk, so this is going to be a real tactical battle now. So Dimas now with 205 kilos on the bar. So this will take him to 377. And the lead at this point. And the lead putting the pressure back onto Huster. Well, you always hope that competitions are going to work out as they look on paper. This one certainly has been a cracker so far. He's... I think he feels he can... Oh, can he oh, do it? Oh, yeah. to hold on. Well, he's back into the lead. The Olympic champion once again ask the question and find the answer <laughs> right the experience showing there david and reza may be a small town but there are turkish and greek communities here and they've all managed to get the tickets to come into the hall to cheer on their champions it was a really supreme effort so who's to deciding to take the same 205 which is the weight he needs for the gold in the jerk and the total at this present moment in time oh no deciding to move up now he wants to be careful here doesn't yes, he yes yes this is interesting because i mean he must feel confident because of course dimas was was very strong in the first phase on that 205 but he didn't look as if he had much more left on the second phase the jerk phase um, so who's to Obviously successful this lift will put unbearable pressure on Dimas, making him have to take 210. So this is a big lift. Houston needs this to go into the lead. So this would take him to 207 and a half in the clean and jerk. And of course, put him back into the lead. But in fact, he could have taken just. He could have taken 205. Yes, because of the body weight. But yeah. uh, he decided to put some real pressure on. Well, this will be huge pressure. Yeah. This could well be a championship winning lift. Yeah. He has to do this. Well, he does look strong, doesn't he? the championship winning list. <laughs> he's got one more to go, and now... Well, Dimas is going to have to respond with 210. And just to put this into context, the new world records by the teenager Yong Zhang of China a week ago in Tel Aviv, 218 kilos. <laughs> so um, that boy must be some uh, machine. <laughs> because these guys are really the best in the world and have been for four or five years now seven inch with 210 kilos that would take him into the lead in the clean and jerk 
Yes, and Sevinch, not the best technician in the world, but an immensely strong man, and he, he could do this. Well, what he's going to do now, I mean, of course, you know, Dimas is going to have to go for this as well. But the interesting point here is that Sevinch, this is his second... Well, this is a bit of gold one. on the clean and jerk. Well, he could do, because he, this will take him up to 377.5, which will put him on the same number of overall kilos in the, as Dimas. But, of course, Dimas is the lighter man, so... He's really looking for Clean a gold medal on the jerk. Possibly silver overall. Possibly. Yes, because of course he's got one attempt remaining after this. Just under half a minute. He's <laughs> very, very strong. Yes, look at that. Oh, oh this man is dangerous. This man is dangerous. And now they're all getting into it. Seven, two to one. Well, two to one's good enough. Absolutely. See if you can spot the concern. Is it a press out anywhere? Well, clean, the clean, clean was, was perfect. Well, I thought that was a... I didn't think there was anything wrong with that lift at any point. Demas comes out. Yeah. Just under a minute, a 210 bit. kilos. So this is a five kilo increase. This will take him to 382 and a half total. And of course, give him the lead and leave Mark Hooster with the job of also cleaning jerking 210. If we'd written the script, we couldn't have done it better. But this is a huge lift. Yes, he's looked very good in the first phase. But it's that start. Well. She means that Mark Hooster. Well, you say that. Well, yet yeah, the Turk could. The Turks look strong so far. What's happened is that Mark Hooster has dismissed his great rival. But there are two men, each with a lift. One is Mark Hooster. The other is Dorsan Sevinc. And it looks like it's Hooster who's going to come in. Take the extra two and a half kilos. That will, take, that will take him to. That will take him to 382 and a half, and it means that what what uh, is going to have to happen is yeah, three 217.5. So Sevens would have to equal the world standard to to win. Which means he might as well put on half a kilo. Well, why and, not? And, and go for a new world record. So Hooster, five lifts out of five so far. But Sevens does look strong. He does. But this will put Hooster into the gold medal position on the clean and jerk as well as the snatch and the overall. Yes, he's... So this is still an important lift. He needs to do this. Good clean. Never looked in doubt. Oh, he's going to get the... Oh, yes. yes, there it is. There it is. Horns are going. Are starting. Mantec and the team are over. They've done the job. There is one <laughs> lift to go. <laughs> and the showman. For the first time since 1994, when he beat Dimas in the World Championships, Mark Hooster is guaranteed to stay ahead of his great rival. But, as they say, it's not over yet. Yes, and Savink has decided to take 212.5, so that means that Hooster is the winner. But, of course, Savink, with this lift, could take the gold, at least in the clean and jerk. That's right. For both of them, Hooster and Savink, are locked together on 210 kilos in the clean and jerk. But because this man is the heavier of the two, these extra two and a half kilos will give him the clean and jerk. And it would also put him into the silver medal on the overall. Indeed. Ahead of Piras Dimas. I think I put money on him getting this. I think he can do this. He's got 25 seconds, and he's rightly asking for the hall to give him consideration as they gave to Mark Hoster. Come on, Dursan. So this for the silver overall. <laughs> Hooster wins all goals. Hooster makes it gold in the snatch, gold in the clean and jerk, and the overall title.
and gives Germany their second goal of these, the 1998 European Championships on home ground here in the Sports Hall in Riesa. Ah, wait. Is Mark Hooster taking a fourth attempt? No. No. Mark Hooster, European at the age of 27, not only in his home country, but in his home town of Riza. And there it is, confirmation, a clean and jerk goal, 210 kilos, same as Dorsan Sevink, but the lighter man, Dimas unable to pick it up, he gets the bronze, Gardev out of the medals in the clean and jerk. But what a cracking competition. As you said, David, you couldn't have scripted it better. And these European championships, the best I've been to since uh, certainly uh, 1996 in Stavanger. And uh, Hooster getting all the congratulations. And in a moment, it'll be time for the medal presentations. And they are great friends. They are great buddies. Great rivals they may be on the platform, but they visit each other. Hooster goes out to Greece and... They know each other really well. They're now sort of talking to their families. And that's great sportsmanship. That's really... Easy. And I think you know uh, whose picture's going to be on the uh, front page of the Sunday newspapers tomorrow. Not only in Riesa, not only in this uh, part of Germany, but all over. Mark Hooster, who uh, for most is known in this part of Germany, the eastern part of Germany. But I think from tomorrow on, his uh, national status will have been enhanced because he's actually done terrifically. Six out of six, and he's never looked in trouble. And this is Mark Hooster, the showman. This is the man who uh, gives a little bit extra to the sport of weightlifting. So, great stuff. And still to come, of course, the 94 kilo category where German hopes uh, rest on the shoulders of Oliver Caruso. And uh, tomorrow, Sunday, the final championships, Ronnie Weller versus Jamokin. But today, so far, belongs to Mark Hooster of Germany, European champion with a total of 382 and a half, five clear of Dimas, who holds on to silver by virtue of his lighter body weight, the Turk Dusan Sevinch taking the bronze medal. Gardef, overall, fourth place ahead of Ritalski of Poland who came up from the B group and finishes a very creditable fifth so we're going to take a short break much more to come stay with us here on Eurosport for more from the European Championships to get the gold medal as the European champion and a very proud mayor of Riza the man who bought him here on the podium with him Wolfram Kurler to celebrate. Very, very rarely do the plans go right and the dreams come true, but they have for men tonight, and you cannot believe the party that's going to happen here for Mark Hooster as the giant, the mascot of the town, adds uh, his or her congratulations. <laughs> Let's not forget Piros Dimas, the double Olympic champion, He's second today, but the duel between these two surely to continue in Lati in the World Championships in November and all the way up to the next Olympics in Sydney. And another man who you'll be seeing, I think, in this duel, a very, very gutsy effort by the man from Turkey, Dursan Sevinc. Very effective at the clean and jerk, being presented the bronze medal by Marino Casade, General Secretary of the European Weightlifting Federation, who adds his congratulations to Mark Husta and Piero Stimas. It's the best competition we've had in weightlifting really since Atlanta. And the crowd will not let the national anthem be played here. It's a tremendous atmosphere. You can see an absolute full house. But now, the national anthem of Germany to honour Mark Hooster's achievement.
Have you ever uh, enjoyed that? Oh, that was fantastic, Dave. Really, really worth watching. That's the kind of competition that's going to put weightlifting on the map. Indeed it is, and we've still got the 94 kilo category to come. This is the situation at the moment. Germany up to third place in the medal table. Bulgaria, though, still in command with those 20 goals.